I am Lucy Cookson, and I'm introducing to you my liquid language. natural watercolorist and I've painted in watercolor I guess since I was in my very early teens um, but I really didn't paint a lot I didn't think I had talent <laughs> eight years ago I started really painting with a group and we had an instructor who came from Aspen and she'd come every fall I, I just blossomed with this this woman and with our group. It was just, it was so exhilarating and so fun. The dream, of course, is to make everything as liquid and thus liquid language. Living sort of with waves and movement and motion and harmony uh, with nature. My watercolors are big and they're, they're not views of the water, but they're the water, they're in it. I'm just drawn to the water. Um, I grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut, which was right on the, the bay. And um, my studio is right on Gardner's Bay. And it's just so fabulous. The light and the shimmer and everything is coming off the bay. And I'm just so thrilled to be able to present some paintings that just are my natural reflection. I stand over my paintings, they, they sit on a table, they, I'm not, they're not on an easel like an oil painter, and I just pour all over them and I, it's almost as if I'm lying down with them. I see them from all kinds of sides and um, underneath and it just, you know, I feel like I'm in the sea. I also do not prepare in terms of making a fine drawing and then fooling around with paper and seeing how it's going to work out. I really start in with a real idea, and then I add. And, I, and, and the thing with watercolor, too, is I'm not ever afraid of making a mistake. There are no mistakes. You can goof up. Like any mother, I am inspired by my children and my grandchildren. My daughter was my inspiration, her face, her, um, her face in youth. I just decided, well, I'm going to try to make her into a mermaid. The great thing that I realized was how much she looked like her grandmother. And that was just so overwhelmingly fabulous as her face um, became really into view and clear. And so um, after that, I really did paint these mermaids. I've been doing one a year, and I decided to make a merman. And um, that was inspired really by a piece of statuary that I had seen that were encrusted in shells. And I thought, well, gee, I'm just going to try to make his face look as stony as possible. And so he, he's not clear, his eyes aren't focused, but he has a green, one green eye that is just absolutely terrific. That merman, to me, is my very favorite piece in this whole show. This is the second dragonfly I've painted that's large. And I figure that this is what the world looks like from a dragonfly's eye. I've painted a few seahorses, but now um, I've been painting them a little bit larger and larger. And then we, when we print, we can make them even bigger. And so it's really, it's, it's kind of fun. Well, I think most of them, I, I do very few paintings really that, that um, are uh, horizontal. They're mostly vertical paintings. I love to paint these octopuses. It's not so much that they're simple, but I think that they're, um, they are just the most fascinating creatures under the sea. Um, a lot of them come out and hide behind them. You know, they're very shy. The sea doesn't look like this anymore, you know, really. We are presenting things that are our idea of beauty and what we wish the water was like. And so it's sort of a, an outcry, you know, sort of begging people, take it easy, take it easy on the fish. Leave them alone a little bit. Let them get 
grow and be able to prosper a little bit, just like our parks. I feel the same way. I think our parks are so grand and nature is so grand in them, but they really need to be unpeopled. I have to say, even that it's my show, that Faye, Faye is just absolutely inspirational the way she has uh, designed this show. And it's a beautiful show. And to have something all together where everything just blends and works. And almost as if we designed every painting to go with every other painting. So I just hope people come and just feel enjoyment and delight because it was, it was wonderful for me. We saw liquid just filling up the painting and just trying to make it move and make it work just by our own inspiration. And so that's how that name got to be. And so we had liquid, liquid what? Liquid, liquid, ah, language. And that's what it is. I'll probably use this all the way through my, the rest of my paintings for my life, I think. <laughs>